Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. In today's video I wanted to do something different and revisit and talk about my old art school portfolio that I created a few years back to get into my art school. Back then I loved to watch all the Carl Arts sketchbook tours to get some inspiration for my portfolio to get into art school. But it's not quite the same here in Germany. You have to create a physical portfolio you hand in. You can include a sketchbook if you want, but you don't have to. So let's have a look. Back then I had two different formats of portfolios. The main one I worked with was this big B2 size one. If you want to have a look at that, let me know in the comments down below. I can absolutely film a tour of this one too in another video. For today we will have a look at my A3 size portfolio. It's one I whipped out in a bit of a hurry back then, but it got me accepted to the next round and I personally think it's the best portfolio I made in the two years trying to get into art school, mainly because it has a kind of easy experimental feel to it and it absolutely tells a story. As well as showing what I was really interested in my creative work back then. I did include two of my smaller travel sized sketchbooks into po the portfolio and I can definitely recommend putting a sketchbook into your art school portfolio. It was one of the things all the professors I spoke to recommended. It's because they want to see your creative process, your ideas, your inspirations and your interest. And that's so much more visible in a sketchbook than only in your finished and polished pieces you selected for your portfolio. Back then, while I was working on my portfolio to get into art school, I did set myself the challenge to complete a sketchbook each month to get some sort of practice and material to include into the different portfolios. For all the German art schools I applied to, everything in your portfolio had to be an original, so you had to build up quite a library of work. For this portfolio there is always kind of a set or a series of art pieces that work together. I think that's one of the advantages of this portfolio because it kind of tells a few different stories throughout those series and also again like they want to see in your sketchbook it shows your thinking process and your creative process in general. The first series is some experimental work with fabric dye and it's a combination of photos as well as dye on paper directly. It was much more loose and free than I originally was thinking while putting up my portfolio but then some of the teachers recommended some more free stuff that's why I included it in this portfolio and I think it's a very important part of this portfolio as well. So make sure to include some free, more experimental and abstract stuff if you have something. The next thing I did in this portfolio is combining series into sketchbook-like folders to show some of my character studies without having to decide one special artwork. I did here a little series where I drew portraits of my family and friends from my imagination with a five minute time limit and a big sharpie so I couldn't erase anything and I combined them into this folder 
to not have to decide on one single portrait to get into the portfolio. Next I got back into the fabric dye, but this time in combination with some crayons and I did a little study of the seasons around my favorite tree in our backyard. And I also included some photos of a stage model I made inspired by the tree. As well as an ant-like pencil drawing. So a little bit of a variety of materials. Uh, to show off that I can work with different things. The final series I created was about skirts made out of light. It was a concept I had in mind for a while. It's again a combination of my inspiration, some drawings and sketches in different mediums, and then the final photo shoot I made with a friend to include into the portfolio. That's all that was in this portfolio that got me into art school. And the thing that got me accepted and that kind of makes me still to this day after art school say that this is a good portfolio, it's not the perfect sketches or the perfect anatomy. In those I am so much better now. But the storytelling of this portfolio was really, really strong. It shows my creative process, my approach to art and my creative thinking as well. And that's, in my experience now, what professors are looking for when they flip through your portfolio. The perfect anatomy sketch they can teach you later when you're in school. They want to see how you think and what keeps you creating and what's interesting to you. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions or tips for people who are currently working on their portfolios, share them in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a thumbs up would make me really happy. And if you want to join me on my creative journey, hit the subscribe button down below.